After we saw what we happened with Andrew, I'm ashamed to call myself a weed scientist, <laughs> because that's not what we do. And what I like about weed scientists, you ask them one question, they will give you 10 answers, and none of them work. <laughs> anyway, even though we are weed scientists, we have our differences. Andrew likes to kill weeds under the ground. I like to kill weeds above the ground. Andrew is young, I am old. <laughs> he, is, he has a lot of hair, I am bald. <laughs> so. Anyway, this is a study that was initiated, it was a question that was asked about a grower. He's with us here, I don't know if you will remember. It was about two or three years ago. Can we grow dry beans under strip tillage? Is that grower here? Can he remember? It's Fred Harkin. He's there. <laughs> uh, we were talking about strip tillage with Roundup Ready Beats. It's easy because with strip tillage, you don't work the ground. After you harvest your barley, you stri strip till your, your field and uh, plant uh, sugar beet, for example, and with Roundup, you control everything. Can we do it with uh, dry beans? Uh, especially dry beans and the furrow irrigation. So this year I went and uh, we stripped it. This was barley last year. We stripped it this field and uh, we are trying to control weed with post emergence herbicides. Because with strip tillage, if it's under furrow, you can't put pre plant and incorporate. So that's what we did here. So I went and collected. Uh, mostly soybean herbicides, lots of them. Uh, there is Bazagran here, there is Raptor, Reflex, Permit, Warrior, and Cadet. And so far, what, uh, what I'm seeing is with the uh, Reflex and Raptor, I got better weed control than with the other ones. And with the other ones, there were more injuries uh, compared to Raptor and uh, Reflex. The problem with the raptor, our sugar beet growers can't use it as a post-emergence herbicide because there is a restriction of almost two years to go back to beets. If uh, there is like barley in the rotation or something, they might be able to use it. And uh, on this side, I combined those herbicides that I mentioned with Vazagran. So we are, in this side, we are uh, tank mixing. And you, every four rows, it's a plot. And you see those four rows there, they look clean. While the others, they, they don't. But much better than what you saw with uh, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we hope to repeat this study next year, uh, somewhere else, maybe in the other field, in order to come up with good conclusions. Because those herbicides are registered for soybean, except, I think, for raptor. We can use a raptor here. The other ones, we need to apply for uh, Section 18 or something if they work in our area. So that's all uh, I have to say about study, about this study. And you know, we have an excellent station. We are proud of it. And it didn't just happen like that. Uh, there are lots of people here that they put their heart in this stuff to keep it clean, to water it, to work the ground. And uh, there is uh, our farm manager, Mike uh, Kellen. Uh, I have two uh, assistant farm managers. They really spend a lot of time here, and mostly irrigating later in the evenings. Keith, Schiffer, and Red May. And uh, we have a new technician who ju just came, replaced Randy, and her name is Justine Christman. So please, I would like you to give these guys big hands. Other people that they work behind the scenes, we, are, we have about four or five summer heads. They are really doing an excellent job, and they are helping us keep in this station clean. I would like hand, big hands for them too. Like if you want big hands. Uh, about a month ago, we had about 50 people that came here to the station, and uh, from uh, why uh, not why from. Uh, Department of Ag from the Western State, and they challenged them that our station is the cleanest. If they can find a weed and 
show it to me, you will pay me that 10 bucks. By the end of the tour, I asked him, did you see any witch? All of them did say no. And any one of you saw some witch here? You will pay 10 bucks, remember? <laughs> it's a clean station, I told you. <laughs> when we harvest, we harvest our barley with a special combine that will spread whatever uh, straws we got. And uh, believe me, there was barley here. And when we harvested, we were even worried. When we planted, we were worried we might not have a good stand at all. Maybe it got washed with the furrow irrigation. And this is another problem with the strip tillage. Under sprinkler is great. And under sprinkler, you might even put some pre-plant herbicides that will be incorporated with water. Under furrow, it will be really hard. Even a small field, and it's hard to irrigate. Imagine a grower with a one mile field, what will happen? Any questions? Thank you guys.